still not 100% convinced the box even exists. Come look at this. What's up, Chief? Got anything? All clear. This couldn't wait till morning. Rush all of a sudden. Where'd he go? Something's up. Okay, last time, I think we looked over here, here, maybe here. Is that what you remember? I don't know, just... What? Checking it out. Shit, I'm tired of covering for these apples. There's some backup here. Dr. Dominguez. I don't give a damn about Dominguez. Find Lara Croft and kill her. <laughs> Find Lara Croft, how? We spread out way too goddamn thin. This was a research operation. Let's just spread out and make the best of it. I'll cover that area. You stay here. Gotta check out the shadow. I don't have time for this. First, Dominguez tells us to look for the box. Now, Rourke tells us to look for the crop. Who are we supposed to listen to? Well, Rourke is a military leader, and Dominguez's decisions are getting people killed. So you better decide right now where your loyalties are. This is not the time to fucking wander off. On 21st of December, 1603, Lopez had grown pensive since exiting the cenote. I led the way, and when I turned toward the city, at last he spoke, calling for us to stop. Then, after swearing me to silence, he shared with me a secret he had been carrying. That night, by the river, I met with the Emperor. I confessed to him who I was, who we are, and the true purpose of our visit. Trinity's fattened leaders, too busy with politics for even the morning's prayers, are not worthy of the box. The Emperor and I agreed that the only way to keep it safe from them was for me to claim it, take it far from here and hide it until one of the Paititi royal line, a chosen one, can follow his antecedents' clues and rediscover it. Having thus unburdened himself, Lopez turned on his heels and set a course deeper into the jungle. Got hit by a four shock. Cabin team. No. All clear, sir. 
This is Cardinal 2. I've got 4 shock damage and Juliet 3. A rock slide took out the tertiary yeah. pumping platform. No fires. Fallen trees have completely blocked the access road to Kilo 2. This is a record of a mercenary's assignments while working for Trinity. Mexico, Kenya, Siberia. I had my crosshairs on the younger one too, but Rourke had orders for us to leave her alone. This is the bastard who shot Anna. What the hell? What the hell am I supposed to do? Hunaratu's dead, shot in the back by Rourke. I don't have the box. Jonah. God, if anything happens to him. God damn it. Hello, Lara. Who is this? I've suspected you've been monitoring my communications since Mexico. Rourke. Commander Rourke. You've been listening to me. And now, I'm listening to you. Another foreshock. How's it feel, knowing you're responsible for all these cataclysms? All that suffering? I know what I did. The look on your face when Dominguez told you? But you just had to have that dagger, didn't you? Can't happen again. We better do a sweep. Anything interesting in that new shipment? Thermal goggles, gentlemen. I'll take point. I got something. Where? Shit! False positive. Some animal. Hey, are we getting those lights up or what? I'm never gonna get. Some Here we go. Those goggles picked up anything yet? Small animals, nothing significant. I'm gonna make a full sweep of the area. You figure Rourke's alerts for real? Absolutely. He wouldn't change her orders unless he was sure she was here. Yeah, better safe than sorry. She's put down too many of our people already. Not this time. Not this time. Jesus. <laughs> Goggles! Find her! Good evening, Ralph. Good evening, Sam. Can you see anyone? If I did, I'd be sh More good men down. What if they're hiding? 
Unless the concealment is completely blocking the heat she gives off, I'll see her. As if looking for something in the dark in these ruins wasn't creepy enough. I used to go hunting with my dad in conditions just like this. Except the ruins were creepy old trees. All right, got any pointers? No matter how good the praise is staying hidden. Feeling. Goddamn Lara Croft. Using what? Guess we gave up too fast last time. Prof's gotta be getting tired by now. She won't get through here. And either the chopper or the search team will crush. It's a recipe for a hallucinogen, sometimes used in war. This should help. If I use this on my arrows, it could be an advantage against Trinity. All full up. Can't carry any more. This must be Mama Zara. I always thought her forms of worship were a fun tradition. She was the Incan goddess of grain, and her name means maize mother. So if ever a farmer found a strange maize plant, they would dress it up like a doll in honor of her. She was also the goddess of willow trees, so sometimes the farming communities would hang one of their maize dolls from a willow tree and dance around it for her. Trinity can rot in this jungle. And as for the Pytetian Emperor, not even he can truly understand just what this box is. But I do, and I know it should not be used by just anyone. That would be catastrophic. Only the purest among us should make the decision as to how to wield the power of the silver box. That is why I must hide it. Tau team, Croft is on a vector toward your position. I say again, Croft is coming to you. 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> we'll get her, sir. Show me her corpse, and your entire team is next in line for Deacon training. Rourke out. You heard the man. Let's do this. What? You aren't looking too good. You won't get me! <laughs> Base camp's having trouble receiving me. As soon as this is up, we'll use it to boost your signal. Son of a bitch. The problem isn't the generator for a change. Can you spell me a bit? I gotta check in with Maltese. Hey, do you know Maltese's access code? 010353 Mike. Here we go. Loading. Good. I guess we're the narrow end of the filter, huh? Yeah. There's no other way out of here. Too bad she'll be long dead before she can get this far. I don't care who kills her. She's gotta die. I'm tired of this shit. The others didn't stop her. How do we? It's like all of nature on her side. Jonah, come in, please. He's not gonna answer, Lara. What? He's dead. Now you can add your friend Jonah to the list of people you've gotten killed. Fuck you, Rock. If you want to pick up his body, it's at the refinery. I'm coming for you. Dominguez forbade us from mingling with the locals. Didn't want us corrupting them. Luckily, one of the priests developed a taste for bourbon. And as long as I brought a pint with me, he'd lend me his costume, mask and all. Walking through the lower city was like traveling 500 years into the past. This hard hat is decorated with peacock feathers and what seems to be the likeness of a jaguar.
Sometimes I feel like I have to keep going, and if I don't, then I'll just, I'll just let everyone go. Listen up. This is the first of many catastrophes you're doing. I have to go. I'm the only one. You're the only one that can work. Making everything worse. <laughs> you're not. Hey, you're not. We can do this. <sighs> Come on. Where to next? Can't stay here. I don't know, Jonah! <laughs> What was that clue? Uh, the heart of the serpent, something. The heart of the serpent is in the cup, near the many stone faces. And what kind of cup are we talking about? Some kind of chalice? A chalice that's not very mine. Wait. It's not mine. 
The clue was left by a 17th century missionary, Andrea Lopez, a Jesuit. The serpent in the chalice is a symbol of St. John. We're looking for a Christian holy site. Like the Church of San Juan? That's a pretty common name. It could be dozens. <sighs> Not within trekking distance from Paititi. <sighs> Come on, the road is this way. We'll get out of here, talk to some people. I do it out. Let's split up. I'll look for signs of Lopez. We'll ask around, see what we can find out. My friend Sara's an archaeologist. She works near here. Want to go see if she knows anything about your riddle? That would be great. The stone faces have always been Sara's obsession. Most people come here looking for treasure, but not Sara. She just wants answers. Have you been friends a long time? Since we were kids. She was the nerd, I was always skipping school and stealing my grandma's RV. Once in a while, I could convince Sarah to come with me. Usually if some kind of rule... Abby, can you help me with this? It's broken. Hold on. Are you that Lara? Croft? I am. I recognize you from your picture. What's your interest with this place? I'm following a riddle. The heart of the serpent is in the cup near the many stone faces. The stone faces? That's why I'm here too. I don't want to step on your toes. It's the serpent in the cup I'm really looking for. Well, I can tell you the faces have been here for at least 400 years. According to documents in the library, they keep watch. Legend has it, they're guarding a secret crypt. A crypt? We've never been able to find it. As you can imagine, that's what drives the treasure hunters crazy. But if the infamous Lara Croft is as clever as they say she is, well, if you were to find it, you might be doing me a favor. You think I should start at the library? Yes, it's over by the cemetery. It's one of the oldest buildings here. Make sure you credit me if you find anything. Thank you. I will. Eighteenth of December, 1604. I've neglected this journal for far too long. We've worked hard to build the mission. Every day more people arrive. Native villagers seeking conversion. Soldiers tired of war. Others whose faith has been tested by the long, dangerous journey through the jungle. All lured by Lopez's gospel of purity through labor. We work from sunrise to sunset. And then Lopez, or Angel de la Cruz as he now calls himself, spends his evening preaching the mission's purpose, to test the Chosen One. He's calmed considerably, and if he believes something pursues him still, he keeps it to himself. Tomorrow we begin to build the library, where the box will safely rest until it is ready to be found by the Chosen One.
I'm happy Jonah's alive. He makes friends so easily. I probably would have walked here to the mission, but Jonah, he just asked Abby for a ride and she said yes. I hope we're in the right place and we can find the box before Trinity. The earthquake hit last night at the oil facility and now there's a volcano. Is this where the next cataclysm will hit? We have to end this before this town ends up like Cozumel. This leather-bound volume of prayers seems to be from the late 16th century. It's in remarkable condition. This describes something nearby. I swim with a turtle, seen only by those who let fear fall away.
I don't have enough space for that. This pendant is decorated in the Incan tradition, but the effigy clearly appears to be an Aztec warrior. That shouldn't be possible. Several hundreds have renounced their pagan beliefs and turned to the teaching of Catholicism. Our work here is different. The heathens must learn the language and then the teachings. Most are not receptive but only come looking for conversion to the true Lord from fear of what might happen to them if they do not. No matter, all paths lead to God's light. In the evenings I rest easily, comforted by the conviction we will save these poor lost souls. Excerpt from the journal of Beltran, Ordinius Predicatorum. <laughs> Didn't think these places would be trapped. Caught a spear through the abdomen. Hurts to breathe. Pray for me. Oh God, what is that smell?
This Maya god is very dark brown, almost black, with black rimmed eyes and facial features that seem to be melting at their extremities. This can only be Exua. He's the patron god of the cacao bean, which accounts for his coloring. Also, because ancient Mesoamericans used those beans as currency, Exua became by extension a god of merchants and of trade. Interestingly, when he first appeared in the lore, he was a god of conflict. Is this supposed to be one of the beheaded gods of the underworld? way up. seems to be some kind of primitive sculpture of a human.
Chuilo Serrano, and these are likely the last words I write. Andreas Lopez, or Angel de la Cruz as he has called himself these last years, has finally and fully gone insane. His demands have grown, becoming more grueling and grotesque as we labor to build his crypt. The construction is almost complete. I know I will die when it is done, Lopez in a brief moment of clarity told me himself. Damn that box. Damn what it has done to the man I once, and sadly still, admire. When storms crash and rivers swell, direct the waters to quench the thirst of the gods who toil above and below. Have to lower the water level. Shob is a king to the Maya version of a gnome or leprechaun. They're about as high as an adult's knee and wear traditional Maya clothing. They are created whenever a farmer builds a little house on his property for them, after which they'll help the corn grow for a period of seven years, making it rain and chasing off predators. They're usually invisible, and in spite of their benefit to the land, they like to play tricks on or frighten humans. Don't call one by name or you'll summon it from its home and it won't be happy with you. to get out of this horrid smelling place.
should be close now. See what I have to trade. How can I help How do you, you Yara? Everything is for sale. Except Remax drum. Mm, good deal. Enjoy it.
Thank you. Good luck, Lara. Rumors have long persisted of monsters, for lack of a better term, in the area surrounding the mission of St. John. The locals refuse to discuss these sightings. They grow sullen when they are mentioned and usually scurry off and hide in their homes. However, it is my fervent belief, once we have converted the populace, they will see these monsters as nothing but superstitions, shadows that disappear in the Lord's light. St. John was the last of Jesus' apostles.